Only twenty dollars. I knew those drop for sale. Current cover only twenty dollars. And uh, uh, the Guardian, publisher of those great confessions of Edward Snowden, uh, named this one of the best books of 2013. Uh, last one. Thank you so much. Publish in London. I love poems from a younger man to an older woman, and and uh, I'm gonna start with with his little rap. His little rap to her, her name is Layla. His name is Celine. And so he's trying to win her affections. And this is what he tells himself, the, or, or rather wants to say to her, this poem is called No, and oh, and it's only two lines. <laughs> I'd rather not know you than know I'd not try to know you if you do not say no. <laughs> this is uh, uh, Layla's response to Celine after they get together and start doing a couple things. Um, <laughs> to Celine number three. Sleep eludes me. I want you so. Want no one else. I cry all night like a lone dove missing her mate. Your love dictates my doom, Celine. I'm tempted to hate your mother for bearing you, except that then I couldn't love you. I give, take my best, do not skimp on my wine. Are you a brigand poet, sir? I shared an orange, only an orange, but you slyly studied my ass. Fine, come and grind my coffee then. Let your pestle grind my mortar as you like. It's unbreakable. <laughs> a rhyming poem. Uh, very much in, in the style of, of Burns and that these are couplets. So this poem is titled Rhyming. It could be either from Layla or from Celine. But here it is. There is so much I'd like to say and yet too rhapsodic to set in a sonnet about two who kissed a muse and her poet in rapture so rapt it scrapped all regret. Why should age matter or any distance when hearts tangle and tongues dance their romance? To be happy, we must first be honest. While words state much, one's deeds convey love best. Past circumstance and remonstrance of doubt. So muse teaches and poet reaches out. Our poems prefer passion to metaphor. That way each day we'll touch each other more. If our love lusts to last, then by and by, it'll outlast elastic eternity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I'm going to finish up on this. Now, this is sonnet, uh, I mean, love poems, and it's actually a very explicit sonnet in there, which I'm not going to read, mm -hmm. um, uh, just because it's, it's just too explicit. It's too, it's too hot for a night like tonight. Uh, everything will melt. Everything will be sudden flood. It's too cold. It's too cold. <laughs> it must, I mean, everything, everything will it, it'll, it'll be it'll be a big flood in the beaches where I read that poem. It's called Explicit Song, just so you can find it for yourself. <laughs> and I'll mention too, Valentine's Day is coming up. Anyway, um, this is a, actually a children's book just published in Halifax, and then I'll continue my advertisement saying that uh, it was named by Quillen Choir one of the top five children's books of 2013. So there you go. Um, and uh, as I say, it just was published recently. Illustrations by Susan Took award-winning Halifax-based uh, illustrator, artist. Um, and I wrote these poems for my daughter, who's 15 and a half now. And, and um, uh, her first language is French, so I wrote them for her so that she'd be able to read them one day in English. And so she has. Um, and as a teenager, she has approved them. So I appreciate that greatly. Um, very simple, rhyming poems. Uh, the reviewers all say the same thing, uh, besides saying that this is an Okay, book. They also say that it's uh, perfectly fine for adults, too. Uh, so there's your uh, you know, content advisory. This is okay for adults to read as well. Uh, so I'm going to read this little poem called April Song. Uh, very simple, and so on. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Sing spring sap and syrup. Let babes burp. Lambs gamble and ramble. Crow, cocks crow dawn. Mirrors at crossroads amble, then prance on. Crocus crack through snow crust, crackling tints. Dazzle this place as dust, jazz brilliance. Chirrup, chirrup, chirrup. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Sing spring sap and syrup. Let babes burp. Uh, another little really short uh, one. 
and this is one that uh, kids tend to like a lot. And it's and it's uh, uh, I'll show the illustration too as soon as I find the poem here. Uh, yeah, come on, where are you? Where are you? I know you come up sooner than this. Yes. Uh, here we go. All right. Here's the illustration. <laughs> and here's the poem. Soup from dirty underwear, dishes of worms and flies, and mud mixed well with vinegar, I serve to all my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, for another something, uh, I'll dedicate this to uh, uh, Prime Minister Harper. When governors order brand new jails, voters should expect to cram those cells, imprison their children and their spouses, and empty out their cribs, bids, and houses. And there's the illustration. And, all right, another one for fun. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Here's the illustration, also just in time for Valentine's Day. Here it is. Dracula is no different than Cupid. One is batty, the other is stupid. One bears fangs, but the other bears arrows, both wing and swoop, to snare you in sorrows. <laughs> and finally, uh, a little uh, philosophical poem, uh, Ian rhyming. Here's the illustration. <clears throat> All right, and here's the poem. It's today that I can see daisies play at being me. Beaming gold, they bend and sway, limber, bold, and narcic gay. Holding out their leaves like hands, they don't shout or make demands. They're quiet, quite, but not shy. Their riot is their beauty. If I seem a weed to some eyes, I dream, and flower I am. This is also only $20. Let me ask our, all our poets to come up here.